Hi, I'm Funny Bread of the Macy's Style Crew. This is the story of a young Quaker who set sail on a whaling ship in 1837 and became the founder of the world's largest retailer. Roland Hussey Macy. At age 15, Roland left his home in Nantucket to become a sailor. During my four years at sea, I think I'll grow a beard and tattoo my arm like Popeye the Sailor Man. Roland's red star tattoo inspired Macy's iconic logo. He then gave up sailing after four years at sea. I am what I am. And what I am is a merchant. So I worked for several years in my father's shop before opening my own needle and thread store in Boston in 1844. Didn't your first business go bankrupt? Yes, but then I opened a dry goods store, which failed too. I also couldn't find gold during the gold rush. Maybe you should have gone into business with your brother. I did, but that was a doomed venture as well. Did you consider maybe giving up? No way. Not even after failing four more times. Maybe I have the wrong Macy's. Did you open a store in a low-rent neighborhood in New York City? I did. It was a little shop called R.H. Macy Dry Goods. And this store was a major success, thanks to its clearly marked prices and clever newspaper ads. First day sales totaled $11.06, but by the end of the first year, sales were approximately $85,000. With all that money rolling in, I needed someone wicked clever with a real aptitude for numbers. So I hired Margaret Getchell, who was promoted to store manager in 1866, making her the first woman to hold an executive position with a major American retailer. She also came up with the idea of featuring the now famous Red Star on the company's letterhead and price tags to brand the store. Now that's what I call a star employee. It was also my idea to create eye-catching window displays. Now that's what I call doing windows. My personal motto is, be everywhere, do everything, and never fail to astonish the customer. With her mindset and skill, Margaret was able to triple our business. By 1877, Macy's had grown to occupy 11 adjacent buildings in Manhattan. And then you died. Some wrongly believed I drowned on the Titanic, but I died from Bright's disease of the kidneys. At least I got this sharp suit from Macy's to be buried in. And your legacy lived on through your wife Louisa, daughter Florence, son Roland H. Macy Jr., and millions of Americans who shop at Macy's every year. And don't forget Funny Bread of the Macy's Style Crew. The Macy's Style Crew could have been my idea, too, if we'd had social media in the 19th century. I hope you enjoyed this animated biography of Macy's founder. And learned that if you first experience failure, Macy's Red Star and or a wicked clever friend can help you find your way. Goodbye!